June 12, 1989, Sunbury, Pennsylvania. A jogger makes a gruesome discovery. The decaying body of a young woman. The disturbing find offers a fresh lead in an existing case. What had been a missing persons uh, investigation for the previous 21 days immediately became a homicide investigation. An autopsy reveals the victim, 19-year-old Lori Auker, was killed in a frenzied knife attack. There were about 17 stab wounds. At least seven of them were in the areas of the body where there were vital organs. Detectives inform District Attorney Robert Sakovich of their prime suspect, Lori's estranged husband, Robert Auker. They discover Auker bought a $10,000 life insurance policy on his wife, and they unearth Auker's history of domestic violence. We spoke to our relatives, friends, and the information was totally consistent. That he was a controlling, and she was living in stark fear of him. But the evidence against Auker is circumstantial. There was no confession. There was no murder weapon. Sakovich and his detectives trace Lori's last movements. They discover there's an ATM at the mall where she worked. It has surveillance cameras. They weren't a continuous video. What they had was a still photo that was taken every 10 seconds. The camera points directly into the parking lot. We can see Lori Auker's car parked. 10 seconds later, Lori is out of her car moving toward the bank. 10 seconds after that, there's a car appears, and this car cuts her off and sort of stopped her. And we see Lori is leaning over into a car with the door open. 10 seconds later, she's nowhere. So that was an abduction scene. Sakovich believes these images capture Lori's killer and his car on film. A tip-off reveals that at the time of the disappearance, the prime suspect was driving an 84 Chevy Celebrity. If Sakovich can connect the vehicle to Auker, he will have concrete evidence his suspect crossed paths with the victim the day she was killed. But in 1989, image enhancement technology is in its infancy. Neither the state police nor the FBI can help. So Sakovich turns to an organization with the world's most advanced technology, NASA. I was ready to use whatever was available to make the case. If anyone is going to have the cutting edge photographic enhancement software, it's going to be NASA. Sakovich travels to NASA's ballistic missile defense organization at the Kennedy Space Center. It was part of Ronald Reagan's strategic defense initiative, the you know, Star Wars program. Met with a, a scientist down there who had expertise in digital imaging. The Lori Auker murder case is the first time NASA's image enhancement technique is used outside of rocket analysis or missile defense. The NASA scientists get to work and they divide the image up into thousands and thousands of pixels. Each pixel is converted into a number. That number represents a brightness from pure white all the way to the darkest black. They then use special software algorithms in order to apply different settings to each of those pixels. The images can be enhanced using those numeric values to work noise out of the photograph, ultimately cleaning it up and bringing out more detail. Gradually, the graininess, the blurriness disappears, and sharper images emerge. NASA's advanced software makes the images clear enough for experts to identify the vehicle. Then they go to General Motors, and engineers there help the police identify the model of car. Not only were they right that it was a Chevrolet celebrity, but they narrow it down to just two years. 1983 and 1984. This is it. This is the piece of evidence they've been waiting for. The evidence plays a vital part 
in convicting Robert Auker of the abduction and first degree murder of his estranged wife, Lori. In presenting evidence, uh, you can read a jury, you can see an impact. When they had the ability to see that car, that was overwhelming and, and that was crucial to the outcome of the case. Robert Auker is sentenced to death, later commuted to life behind bars. It's amazing to think that this technology, designed as part of NASA's space program, has helped solve a murder. NASA's cutting-edge techniques secured justice for Lori Auker, but they also lay the foundation for a forensics revolution. NASA technology like this is routinely used in other cases. It changed the landscape of forensic science.